hands. I want to wish everyone a happy Easter. And for, for once, for the first time ever on this channel, I'm going to do something different. This Easter, depending, I may even might make this a full on series, depending on how things go. I am starting the Game of Thrones storyline. Note this. This is the Renegade and no one other. So I want to give everyone a holiday. Yo! Now, everyone who knows me, I am not, and I, I can't believe I'm admitting this, I am not as big of a King of Thrones fan as everyone else. Granted, I do watch it, but I'm not as intrigued as I used to be to it. But... I had an announcement, surprisingly funny at work today, that the Game of Thrones season finale is happening either tonight, tomorrow, or this practical month, dealing with the Ice Dragon. <gasps> For y'all, I spent my money downloading all the episodes to King of Thrones depending on what y'all comments below I might just even skip all the way to the sixth final season for y'all but that's only if at least at least we get 20 lights on this video or 10 people in the comment session saying they want to move to the sixth level but if there is more than 10 people in that comment session saying that they don't want me to skip to the final season to the final episode then I'll play this whole game through day by day per episode let me stop holding you up Let's get this weirdness going and let's see how bad I can mess this up. Granted, I haven't played a Tall Tale game since Tall Tale the Four Borderlands the Tall Tale. Let's be honest. And if anything, it pulls some heartstrings. Like, very real whole straight. I still feel the intense sadness of my robot buddy, Bobbert, and my lovely engineer, Scooter. If y'all do not know who these two people are, I would like y'all to go through my channel and look for the Borderlands Tall Tale series. You gotta, you gotta love the art for Tall Tale games. The great Jamie Lannister, Kingslayer, Oathbreaker, brought to his knees by the men of the North. And set free by the women. You'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself. This is Prince Charming already. Who did you kill? <laughs> we just started. Why is there blood on this thing? Make sure it's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Go Says on. you. I'm blood. always happy with that. Now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? 
You'll never have a sword like that. <laughs> I say that as a friend. Even if we're being honest, you are just a squire. Oh, don't be an ass, Bowen. Yep, don't <laughs> be there. Apologies, your lordship. I had Andy, you know. <laughs> Hand him what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk he barely made it out of his tent. Next, he'll tell us he caught Tyrion too. <laughs> so what really happened? Someone caught him, I suppose. That's uh. any man here, and they'll say it was them. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Ah. Well, I don't have it. Aye. And round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Old Forest Hall of Not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Hello? Norrin's story. Which grows more far fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. It's your job. Right, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Oh. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forester for centuries. Yes, his honor is beyond reproach. And House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> God dang it. Fetch your cup. The night we celebrate. <laughs> to Rob Stark, the king in the north. The, the king, 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 king of the north. Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock. And House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the young wolf's army and ride as the vanguard. Gods of favors. Onward to Castle Rock! Aye! Death to the Lannisters! Aye! Iron from ice! Aye! Oh, yeah, okay, I did it right. Got it. Iron yes, from Lord. ice! I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his what? father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. How much? Like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question: What's to be done with you? What do you mean? You've been on my mind for a while now. Something must be done. What do you mean? You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? You served me well. Let me fight for you, my lord. You've more than proven your ability on the battlefield. No man would question that. Yes. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Your hard work has paid off. So I'm no longer a squire. As of tomorrow, no. But for now, yes! keep this between us. I'm a man. Tonight. A man's I man's the man's. To feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. Love is bear. Bloody hell! Squire, fetch us more wine. Can you give me a hand? Come on. Can I get up to you? Yeah, no problem. Exactly. I've been a squire longer than you. So, I outrank you. You should help me. Oh, what? Fetch me a wine. Scrub my armor. Clean my boots. It's my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. You it could be watch worse. Your tongue, boy. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Nothing is worse than Norin. See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. 
If I'd grown up covered in big shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. But not by much. This is a job for a pig farmer. <laughs> oh, All I'm saying right. is, at this rate, we'll never be more than this. I, I want to I note something. I think if I was dumb enough, I didn't do this right. Let's see if subtitles are in. There was! I'm stupid! That's completely my fault. I knew it was something. I was like, hmm, I'm pretty sure I put subtitles on. <laughs> nope! See if it works now. Which is nothing. There you the go. Of the law. For all I know, we could be squires for life. It says you. Line around the fucking wedding. What a waste of fucking time. Give it time. You'll get there. More easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castle in a house forester, I'd feel different. Who my uncle oh. is has nothing to do with it. How much further? It's right over there. Oh. Oh, that's pretty far. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing, Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Don't drop nice kick that man. Wedding. Not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. Wait, did I see something weird? What's wrong? Do I see a mutiny? I feel a mutiny. Just gotten into you. You're acting rather odd. You've had too much wine. We need to get back. Now. They're fine, they can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. And take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Bowen, we have yes. to go. You'll go if you're in such a rush. Ah. I must say, boy! <laughs> what about? What the hell was that about? Slow down, would you? What's the rush? There's no need to fucking run. We have to warn the others. Warn them about what? There's no time to explain. There's a mutiny, you moron! He's out there by himself. I knew it! No! Fuck! We need to get back to camp! If camp still exists... No! Ooh! Don't touch me! No! Oh, there we go! There we go! Uh. Get off me! You bastard! Eat! Shield! Right. I am the shield hero. Fear me! Ready, boys! Defeat the shield hero! What? Oh, oh come oh. on! I couldn't retry, retry. That was my fault. I took one to the face. Let's try that again. That was completely my fault. <laughs> Ready, boys! Whoa! Shoot that one! Okay, alright. 
to him, right? Yo, come on! Oh, Shield bash! I thought I run in barrel. Fast and run away there. Alright? No, I don't like it. Go forward, fifty, and I'm trapped up in the wagon. I lost the shield. That's not good. Can I get another shield, please? Get off of me! Dang you! Why do you have such a grip? Is those horses? Why would I save him? Was I supposed to save him? No! Oh, death by horse! What is this, red versus blue? He's dead. Speak up, Garrett. Did you see him or not? The phrase. They they slaughtered him, my lord. Find a weapon. Quickly. Oh, we're in battle. Oh! No, no, no. Yep, that's about it. I'd never make it. They'll hunt us down like dogs. Well, the phrase says time's over. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what can I do? Anything. Guard this with your life. Return what? Return it to Ironrath, where it belongs. There's no time to waste. But that's your sword, dude. Damned if I let it fall into the hearts of those traitors. What is this, a magical sword? You have to go. Welcome to the fucking torch. There's still time, my lord. We can both you get. You must go. My lord, By I... the gods, you will obey me. Why? Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him that you understand. You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. The future of the house may depend on it. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, it's those foresters. Oh, your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! You know, I should have said I gave him my word. I should have said my uncle? Like a question mark? Oh, he caught we them with the hand. Oh, dude. Run, damn it. They need to take one look at you. They're chasing you down. Don't jog, run.
And we're back! It's been a long trap. Where did I get a sheep? Is that Captain Scratch's disposal? I feel there's someone following me and is behind that tree. <laughs> Oh, oh, blood? Blood. Fresh. Pig? Scrap disposals, no! I wonder. I'm gonna eat that. There's a wagon over there. Can I look in? No, can't look inside the wagon. Oh, what is that? A hmm. Cart? Look at the cart. Well, everyone has a title to their opinion. Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Better may be coming, but at least still have his bacon. <laughs> oh, come on. Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. I'm get to my father. I recognize you. You're a forester squire. Former Stark bannermen have no claim on land anymore. Or haven't you heard? The Starks are dead. Uh -oh. Where did you get that sword? Where did you get that haircut? Not a chance that sword is his. Must have stolen it. Out here by himself, probably a deserter. Ah, I, I killed a man for it. Did you? Now, why don't I believe you? That sword's too big for you, boy. You can barely pick it up. Get off my land. This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new warden of the north. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. <laughs> no. I'll have that sword, boy. You'll have these nuts. Fuck you. Fuck you. I feel like we're failing here. All right. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. I want to... You really mm. are a pig farmer, aren't you? I say that's more of a reach. <laughs> Swipe the sword out of here. Yeah, good job. <laughs> You know, he thinks the way I do. That was actually a good idea. Alright. Man with a pike. Tackle! The spear! Oh, my fucking leg! You son of a bitch! Oh, damn it! No! Fuck off! Mercy! Please! 
please. I beg of you. I, I have a family. They'll never survive without me. I have no quarrel with you. I, I was only following orders. No, please. Thank you. Lord Whitefield will see you hang for this. That much I promise. <laughs> I feel like I should have let him live. You know, I usually go peaceful, but man just tried to hit me with a pike and I got stabbed in the fucking leg. Father? Karen, you survived. Now you look dead. Your sister. She hid. Apparently not well. I tried to stop them. Oh, he is dead. I'll kill the men who did this. I feel vengeance is not the option here. But, can you blame a man? I need a medic! Help! It's Garrett! Yes, it's me! God Get damn it! God fucking help! Tell him his nephew survived! Oh, don't rush to my aid! It's not like I'm breathing for the fucking leg! God Garrett. damn it! God, I was like a bitch. I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester. Meet us in the great hall. Quickly. <sighs> Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. Mm hmm. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she. She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. The condolences will get my fucking family back. Mm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. But the White Hills won't see it that way. They attacked me. I had no choice but to defend myself. Of course. And we can't let the White Hills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Did you just say maggots? <laughs> Oh, that hurts like a bitch. Oh, it hurts. Boy, you put it back into my thing. I should kick your ass. Oh, it's dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Well, what do we do now? The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. That's true. It's always come down to that. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Already more than already did. Hold this for me, will you? I mean, I got motherfucking maggots in my leg. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of Warcraft. I imagine I'd be pretty good with a sword. That's not how it happened. Roderick had already fallen. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house. I all know. Hmm. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first. 
to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh, uh. I walk like nothing ever happened. Damn, Go those on. are some good magic. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Those are good ass maggots. Look at the window. Why not? Let's see what's happening yeah, outside. Oh, there's a shield. Well, it's all right. An ironwood shield. Hmm. The strongest wood in the known world. I mean, you ain't wrong. I had a shield earlier that saved my ass. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Mr. Tengren. Look, I'll show you. Ryan, never hmm. easy being the fourth born son. Lady Forrester, she's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a Forrester myself. That's fair. Mira, still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. He looks pretty handsome. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. What? He looks like a great dude. Like, this is a man that I can see if I can have a beer with. Probably has tons of stories. You know, I would love to talk to him. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. Lord Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. This might help. Uh, no, you see there? You're limping again. I'm fine, really. To anyone. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Can I leave? <laughs> yeah. Why do Why the did White Hills hate the foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. Interesting. The White Hills want Forrester Ironwood. Ah, they'd take it all if we'd let them, especially now with the Boltons in power. And proceed to clear-cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left. Just as they've done before. Jesus. 
Who is the new lord of House Forrester? Why, Ethan, of course. Get out, the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is... Challenging. Challenging. <laughs> yep. There's still so much he has to learn. Yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. Yeah, he could kill us all. What will happen to me now? Excellent question. Hmm. Under normal circumstances, you could join Sir Roiland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your... circumstances, it becomes a bit tricky, doesn't it? I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Lord Forrester promoted me. At the Twins, I... I'm no longer a squire, if that matters. It might, I suppose. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. I want to say, can I see Ethan? Can I see Ethan? Is he here? He is. But I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. He prefers not to be disturbed while practicing his loot. Ah, oh, God damn it! I'm leaving. Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell. But Lady Forrester. Well, Welcome you came home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you. You seem depressed. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family. I'm so sorry. Nato. Off to bed now. Hurry on. True. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Whatever you can recall. He saved my life, my lady. Yet not Roderick's. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Rob Stark named him to lead the van for the march on Casterly Rock. A fitting tribute, no doubt. Yeah. It was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, Damn it. my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? If you can remember. It would mean so much to the family. He said he loved you. That's very kind of you to say. Uh, I feel... You have the Forester's sword. Ethan should have it. Now that he is Lord. Lord Forrester asked me to return it to the house. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. They demand a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is huh? the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. It's the question. Duncan, this was book our off? land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. They attacked me! And they'll say they were keeping the peace in the name of House Bolton. It's an argument you cannot win. We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads, while they're still attached to our shoulders. That's fair. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. It was his family they killed. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. So, what's to be done? Come suck my dick. <sighs> Ultimately, 
It will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this, but I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I'd have done the same, as any man would. Fuck, Fuck Bolton. One of their men killed my family. Aye, you'll say it was justice, they'll say it was murder. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. You cannot stay? Duncan, the boy has suffered enough. But where will I go? go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. You're sending him to the war? The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution, especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. Uncle, you can't send me to the wall. I'm not a criminal. There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. To stay would bring destruction upon us all. I know that's not what you want. I know it's difficult to understand. But you must think of the house. It's still, still not, not right. right. No, it's not. But it's what's best. Well, can we have a talk at least? I got something to tell you. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. I know I should have let him live. Wait! Stop him! Word up to me. I gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. I know you're not a criminal, but Lord Forrester would be proud that you put in the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. He promoted me at the Twins. We were to ride in the van to Casterly Rock, and, and I at Roderick's side, but... It was well deserved, Garrett. You worked hard and served your lord with honor. Yeah, but now it's all taken away from me. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? What is it? It's important. Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, Who are you? The North Grove can never be lost. So hey. You caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. He said, tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. True. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. You haven't told anyone else, have you? No. This is important, Garrett. I need to know the truth. Of course not. I told no one. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. Is it now? But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. <sighs> I was gonna be a knight and now I'm a goddamn ranger. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Remember. You represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll be strong. I know you will. I love you, Uncle. I love you so much. You have tears in my eyes. <laughs> Oh, 
baby, I'll take it. Be safe. I will now I know you got my back. Ah, uh, she definitely digs me. He's definitely a boy. I couldn't find him. Could you? He hides too well. And if he was smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. I win. Congratulations, your lordship. <laughs> Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. Then why do you play it? I was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And... and Roderick. Roderick's dead! But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. Dad being raped and privileged. I don't want Garrett to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Garrett. He was nice. Garrett is strong. He can take care of himself. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Roiland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Roiland for one. He says uh, you can't fight very well. What? And well, you're he calls you a milk sop. Sir Roiland forgets himself. After all, you are the lord of the house now. I don't care what he says. I can protect you. What does milk sop mean? I don't know. But I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Roiland teach you how to wield a sword. Like... like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. <laughs> no, definitely not you. Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. Exactly. It's so much fun. But then, well, and everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training. We never smiled anymore. And Asher, Asher just got angry at everything. Yeah. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. But he had a reason. I'm sure. I know a Lord has Asher many responsibilities. Reason. But you don't need to be like them. It's for you to decide for yourself. I don't want to get angry. But I may have to. Father did sometimes. But you're nice. Everybody says that about you. Yeah, nice sometimes show weakness but in this world. Since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I can have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. But Ethan will be a good lord. A proper lord. That's not how it works. Well, that's how it should huh. work. You are the lord. Yes. The lord of like ten people. Lord Ethan, you're needed in the great hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. And my life starts to begin to suck. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's gone demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? 
He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. Huh. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. Lord Whitehill is a mean old man anyways. Someone should tell him to leave us alone. Fine. If that's what's required of me. Very well then. Hmm. Oh. You know, you can't really tell if that is if Ethan is like the brother of those two. Looks completely different. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here. Business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong. So don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle yeah, okay, yeah, not okay, no. said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men. Oh. Where's Bolt Cut? Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late I Lord really... Forrester was no friend to me or my house, but to his family it's still a loss. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters finally get their due. I may be young, but I'm not so easily fooled. They're trying to rile me, but it won't work. Young? You are that boy. Too young to know when you're in over your head. Mm. And no bread and salt! What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Bloody foresters. Calm yourself, old man. You <laughs> little fuck! That's how you talk to a lord! You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Ooh! Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. Lord Whitehill, please. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? For real. Bold cut. Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attack for no reason. Garrod was only defending himself. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. And you are the lord of this house. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. Soldiers worth a hundred of their time. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? We haven't seen him. He was never here. You little liar. I will find him. By the gods, you better hope I do, because if I don't, I'm holding you responsible. And you'll answer for what he's done. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. 
Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. Mm. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Not some pieces of shit. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this... this is not over! It's over when my son says it is. Thank you for coming, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. Mm. That lad may be lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a forester man killed one of his own, that the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. Do as you like, Lord Whitehill. I want to kick his teeth in. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. But what... What do I do now is the question. Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the King may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. I was still going. Yeah, <laughs> look, a gold coin. Asher sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. Yes, yes, it is. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. Ooh. Ethan made this for me. I'm gonna read it. Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. That's true. I do wish you and Mother could come. Although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. Uh, I miss all it. of you. And I look forward to the day you can. You should finish that. Gosh, it's so depressing. That's the old tome. Wonders made by man, by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. God, he sounds such like a cool man. I hope to see them all someday. He's dead. <laughs> you ain't seen him anytime soon. I need to stop being a dick. Is there anything? Now the cold. No, we're just gonna look at it. No, no comment. All right, that's fair. There's a. What's this? It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Ah. Oh.
I want to look at a window, but hey. What can you do, right? Who the fuck is it? One moment. Oh, sorry, lady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. Who are you? Come back later if you'd like. No, it's you okay. Fine. Come in. You look like you got beaten the hell up. What are you putting in here? Just dump it in there. Begging your pardon, my lady, but you are right. If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm just worried about my family. Ah, letter from home, is it? It's kind of you to ask. Of course, my lady. You've always been kind to me. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. Mm. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. Oh. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? Why Cersei? They appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but it was definitely an argument. Why are you telling me this? I heard them arguing about House Forrester and- House Forrester? Oh, crap. I thought you'd like know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, lady. Dude, you break my heart. But I understand, dude. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Why do you look like the Wicked Witch of the West? something we must discuss. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. Aww. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. And your poor family as well. A hit circle, what the heck? You must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the north whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the royal sept. Mm. She mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. Her face was full of mirth as she said it. What does she intend to do? <sighs> she intends to make you miserable, knowing that will make me miserable as well. You. She demands oh. an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. Take it. Find a way to appease her. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. Oh. Yeah, I like how you would see if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. You'll be fine. I know you will. No, the heck you I will feel one thing, but you must say another.
Good luck. I don't trust you. You've been suspicious. Oh, look at the throw. Oh, look, it's a midget. You can do this. Now, let me stop messing around. I'm pretty sure he's okay. Ah, Lady Marjorie. Aren't you looking lovely this evening? Oh. Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Yeah, knew it before. Your Grace. The girl knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. I want to kick you in your teeth. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. The girl can speak for her house. House Forrester's loyalty to the crown never wavers, Your Grace. I see. And yet. For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. Yep. A house of traitors. They were the wardens of the north. We all served at the pleasure of the king. Clever girl. Ooh. Perhaps too clever for her own good. The girl did say their loyalty was unwavering. She has a talent for equivocation, yet I question what she really thinks. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Uh -huh. Yes, your grace. Absolutely. I see. Despite the fact Roose Bolton allied with Walder Frey. If it was me, I'd find it difficult to so quickly forgive the men who killed my father. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. That's fair. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. Yes, Your Grace. Hmm. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Uh -huh. Ask any uh -huh. Lannister, and they do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. Oh. Oh Percy. no. Oh no. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks. Wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? I won't judge her, Your Grace. I wasn't there. I didn't face her decisions. Aren't you a delightful girl? Yes. If only one could flit through life without ever holding an opinion of their own. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Oh. Pretending to be something they're not. Oh. Who knows what lurks within their hearts? You are a girl from the north here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. 
And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? Oh, I'm sure the way we the girl answer the question. Go on. I would be true to the king, your grace. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Which damn is not it. very encouraging. God damn it! I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. I'll walk you out. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannis Bolt. Oh. Even then he didn't trust Ruth Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. These are trying times, my lord. My family fears what might happen now that the Boltons rule the North. They must still answer to the crowd. You shouldn't forget that, nor should they. That certainly took courage. To so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated, although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I was trying to appease her. I think that was clear to everyone. <laughs> My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We oh. must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood. And I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. What are you suggesting? Hmm? For real, because I, I like you. the crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you. And oh. your house. Are you willing to risk that? It may be far too dangerous. In fact, forget I even suggested such a thing. It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? Yay! I'll consider it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. Thank you for the advice, Lord Tyrion. Just be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Uh, that's true. I like him! Oh, I like him. But I really shouldn't get attached. Yes, I've seen the show here and there about Mira, two to three I'm seasons. Sorry. But then I stopped last way because, you know, life and business. Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It's more than a little intimidating. Sorry, I shouldn't have asked. Yeah, it did pretty sucked. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back, here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, oh. what? It's true. Feisty girl. Over in Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour, which I doubt is Dornish for wife. You'll get us in trouble. We're just having some fun. Perhaps Lady Marjorie can make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Maybe. Marrying a king? I can only imagine what that would be like. It's 50-50. It could be love, would glory. You marry Joffrey, 
If it meant you'd become queen. Please don't make me ask that question. Look about him, and he's always treated Lady Marjorie well, which is more than you can say for his mother. I don't want to be queen, no matter who I'd have to marry. Don't want to be queen. Nope. You northerners, you'd make a perfect scepter. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I don't think I'll be going to be my handmaiden. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brian of Tar and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match! Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Well? Sarah? I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. That's fair. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The queen was pleased by your display, Mira. I'm just glad it's over. I didn't want to do that to you, my like best Landing girl. Can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please, or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once I know your true yeah. heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Mm. It doesn't matter what you feel. It only matters what you say. You learn very quickly. Ha ha ha! You were brave agreeing to obey the Boltons. That cannot have been easy. I know you must fear what Lord Bolton might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. True. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. Something terrible. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. It's about my family. I trust her. I trust her. Go on. Ask. No, my mother's need help. I received a letter from my family. I fear my family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. But if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the crown. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. That is no small request, especially now. True. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene? Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how we turned on Lady Sansa. I can't answer it. I am well aware of the risk. I can see how important this is to you. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... Don't let the Queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. He's fair. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. I wish I... I wonder if I did a right choice or not. 
Serious dog. No! Thunder hooves! Seven elves. Best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have full enough practice. Oh, oh, oh. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise? <laughs> like a drowning cat. Gonna keep 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 an eye on that guy. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds oh, 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 oh. few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the warden oh, oh. of the north. He does now. How much further is it? There we go. Foresters. Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? My lord? Shh. Listen. There. No, no, no. Hear that? I know I heard something. If I stay still, maybe something lucky will happen. Never mind. Yeah! We've wasted enough time already. I know it! That, one, that happens in every kind of every one of these situations. They stand still! Usually a squirrel or a bird will fly by eventually. Like <laughs> How <laughs> I met the most of that little character. That man is definitely dead. There's no way he's alive. I have items. I could probably heal him. Oh no. Never mind, he's dead. Lord Ethan, as I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. That's fair. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house. And your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord hmm. Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise, and courageous in battle. And what will they call me? Listen that the kind. is for you to define as the new lord. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Oh, I don't guess you want to be chosen. Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move. <coughs> Summon the Lord. We need his judgment. For what? I've done nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. Lord Ethan. Miss. Why did you kick this man? 
This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! Oh. We all fucking know it! <laughs> Quiet, thief. Oh. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Why did you do it? Because I've no wish to die. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's true. Right. I've a family to feed. They're not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Most of us won't even live to see it. Calm yourself. yourself. The time for calm passed with the late Lord Forrester. Now there's only chaos. <coughs> You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. We can send him to the war. I will decide. Send him to the war. Take his fingers. He's a thief. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. Will be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. That's a tough choice. I can either take three of his fingers like a douche, send him to the wall, or show him mercy. I mean, granted, if I send him to the wall, I won't have to take his fingers, and I won't have to show him mercy. It's like the in-between decision. Uh, I mean, I can understand his feel. I, I'm gonna show him mercy. I'm gonna show him mercy. I can't do it. I, I, I need, I need, I trust him. He just have that look. Our house tends to its people. See, this man is paid and his family is fed. Lord Ethan, you are truly a merciful and noble lord. My lord, this man is a criminal. A brazen thief. He still serves House Forrester and deserves our protection. He's a rat in our grain stores. My lord. We must speak about our gold reserves. Soon. My lord, I thank you for the mercy you've shown me. I will never forget my debt to you and to this house. I should speak up and... That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet our punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. Can weigh on any lord. It's a lord's duty, so I did it. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. And I'm sure you think you'd be the perfect choice. Me? Oh, God, no. I can't get involved. I am a maester. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve as such. There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The I'm definitely going with the uncle. 
the badge of office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this bracer upon your chosen sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. Take it. Thank you for your counsel, Maester. It is my duty. Come oh, speak nice with me too. when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. That Tyrol, was hoping you wasn't looking. I don't want to go talk to him now. Mm. Yeah, you'll be fine. Let's talk to you. Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do. Showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. At first light. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? Yay! She has asked me to return with him, to help the house. He said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. She insisted. I will hold her, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. That's fair. Do you know that just as well? my mother. Of course I'll be gentle. I know you will. You're good-hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Roiland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Aye, Sir Roiland is the man you want. Why Sir Roiland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Roiland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. I knew I should have talked to you first. told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. Oh. I saw what you did to that man. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrett being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to leave. They need me to, but... What? Hmm. Ethan, please. Tell me. Who should I name as my sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. He's dependable and smart, and everyone trusts his judgment. Sir Roiland is unpredictable and likely to make matters worse. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. Fair. I mean, she never was wrong before. Uh, I already know how Duncan is, are you? Oh, I'm Toto. Now, will I say parry? Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. 
Your father often sought my counsel. Mm. No, it's nothing. I just need to walk and clear my head. I really feel I'm gonna talk to him, but like... Like, I'm really gonna choose him as my sentinel. But the fact is that, um... Daddy didn't give me much choice to talk about anything. Lord up! Swing left! He's probably Sorry. pissed. Wrong! I didn't know so dogs could hold swords. Word. Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make. Oh, it's the advice. same thing. What's the state of our defenses? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot? Ready? No, but they will. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet. Up where they won't get much scrutiny. And put our meanest, nastiest looking brutes front and center. That'll show them as you were a force in our own right. You've got to project power, especially when you're weak. Thank you, Sir Royland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And uh, I'll be sure to watch out for more deserters. After today, I suspect there'll be more to come. Dang it. I'm gonna hold the bracer. Swords up! You can't lift them, yeah? Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. So that's the best way to do it. Like, I can't just give them the bracelet here and out. No, I'm going to do it right at the council. Show my dominance of who I seat judgment. Because, don't get me wrong. On right hand, there's war. He is like Ares. He seek with a chaos and anger with a, uh, and go and so rule it to you with an iron fist. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. God damn it. I wonder what y'all think. I really say him, because he's the most logical. And plus, he knows a secret that not the, that everyone in the whole household know. So, Tuttle, giving him you will be my bracer. Tuttle, this, this is reckless. Lord Egan has made his choice. I will not disappoint you, my lord. Now, Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here, with no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Royland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. Lord Ethan deserves to hear from all of us. Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. Oh. 
drop them Sir both. Roiland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Hmm. Both give Thank like... the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf, but we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. There must be other options. We must give him whatever he wants hmm. and be done with it. It's too Whoa. dangerous to do otherwise. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! Hmm. Ah, oh, that... See, this is another tough decision. Will we fight? Will we bargain? Will we diplomacy? Give me a minute. Now that I made peace with myself, and that's not with my hands, by the way, <laughs> um, we can fight, but there might be, but our men are not ready yet, not fully. We can bargain, but that'll be our only chance of currency, and might lose us the house itself. And then there's diplomacy. We can negotiate. Maybe try to find a way to stop him. Hopefully if she can do this, diplomacy will work very well. But if we fight, it'll be war between ourselves and at the moment Perrin is warden. And we'll send the House of Forces to the greatest ends My of the earth. Sentinel favors a certain approach and I agree. I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance and try to reach a reasonable agreement. If that would kill you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall, and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? Are you serious? Oh! Let's make a way to the gate, because at least at that moment, with our armies there, we have a chance to defend ourselves slightly. I will meet him at the gate. Very good, my lord. I shall prepare the men. Men? We hardly have any. It's a foolish plan. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord, but you are not ready to be lord of this house. You're likely oh. to get us all killed. Sit down at once. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. Dude, I just agreed you with your idea. You're just gonna dick ride me and like we that? We will not offer our ironwood. 
And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. To be honest, this is going to be a really tough decision because I just know that the person that you're talking about is the person who almost skinned them in. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. Forgive me. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? What a brother. Malcolm brother. told me. You want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Why would you bring him back after you exiled him? He exiled himself. Hmm? He has no desire to rule. Asher is volatile, but that is his strength too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. <laughs> Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. It's something we could use. I'm not like that, but I don't need to be, do I? No, but you need someone who is standing beside you. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Screw that. I'm sending Fine. him there. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. But you better fucking hurry. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. I hope so. So if she does it, we're all due. Hold on a second. Is there a save option right now? Nope, I still have to resume the game. All right, so this thing is going a little longer than I thought it would. What's that? Letter? Key? Strange key. Hmm. Damn it. I'm not gonna take something that's not there. Nope, return seal. Because that, that can easily start a war. We don't want that. Marjorie? Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you'd want to know. Thank you. Mira, look. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. I want to help you if there's anything I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. You're sweet to offer, Sarah. Thank you. Lady Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Just know I will be here for you if you ever.
What happened? My lady, I'll leave you to talk. No, it's not good. Are you all right, my lady? The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. Gods. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. I am so sorry, my lady. I should never have asked you for the king's help. Please don't hold it against me. Ramsay Snow is on his way to Ironrath. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now... We must both be cautious. True. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. My lady. Begging your pardon, my lady. I hope I didn't frighten you. How long have you been waiting there? Not long. I was just passing by when I saw you emerge from Lady Marjorie's room. I hope you saw. I was right before. About Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know, I... I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. How can I trust you? There are spies everywhere in King's Landing. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Hopefully I've proven I could be useful to you. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... People who'd be willing to help you. This is a long story. Where's Sir Roiland? The man values pride more than honor. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men stand ready to act if needed. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. Bolton men approaching, my lord! Something wrong with your gate? No way. You should at least open the gate. That's not what I thought you was going to do. Well, aren't you the little lord? No wonder you can't open the gate. Shall we help you? Now let me in. This is a lovely pile of timber, isn't it? You may enter. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, may we? How gracious of the Lord to allow us in. And you said he wasn't a proper Lord. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about it. Your father will appreciate it, I hope. Our ironwood is highly sought after. My father is not so easily impressed. Wow. <gasps> Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could... Learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. Hmm. Ah, <laughs> fuck that guy. Like the army you have, Lord Forrester. Very impressive. I feel like he's being sarcastic. God, tough decisions, I could tell you that. Lord Ramsay? Come out where I can see you. We really must focus on the business at hand. What is it you want, Lord Ramsay? What do I want? Everything. Nothing. We'll see. Oh. First. Let's see you bend the knee to my father, Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. I want you to show me. My Lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? Take the weird douche. Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. I didn't the think crown, so. however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the king. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. We will double our efforts for your father, my lord. That's a good little lord. That's not you what can't I trust your Forester. They murdered our men. It was a uh, Forester Squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One bolt. Yet your man lived. He was within his right. They killed his family. His right? He killed a loyal soldier in my father's army. Damn it. You had me stand out in the wind and muck so you could show off your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? No. What? The Ironwood? But... That is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. You can't do that. <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't know? We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. It can't be that difficult. The foresters have been tending ironwood for thousands of years. The White Hills had ironwood once, but now those hills are bare. Do you want ironwood for the next five years, or the next fifty generations? 
Yes, the true. little lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your iron wood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord, half of something is better than the nothing you had before. That's to ensure awful. there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of twenty men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. We'll bar the gates. Too late for that. You have a man you trust? My son. Griff. Griff. We'll lead the garrison. Please tell me it's not both. have no right. Wait hills have no place here, lads. Do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Duncan, don't. Look at this little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Oh, I'm gonna kick his ass. Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Ah. Wind. Well, like the Queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. Leave my sister alone! I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. <gasps> Lord Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. We get along well. You've gone too far, Lord Ramsay. I demand you let her go. I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the brave lord? I'll kick your ass. No, Ethan! No! What have you done? No! I don't Ethan! want to no! lord. Far too much trouble. Ethan! Ethan! No! No! no, no. Even though you did bend the knee. I think we've come to an understanding. Lord Ethan! I certainly feel better about all this. What have you done? However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. You killed! Take the boy of your mother. No! Kill him. Lovely meeting all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him! Fetch the mace so quickly! You brought this on yourself. Mother! Please. Stop! Don't let him take me! Oh, son of a bitch! Stop the no, please! Ryan, please. Stop it! Bring no. the Do something! Ethan? My son. Did he just die? Did I fucked up? I feel like I fucked up! Son of a bitch, I fucked up. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? And that's the end of episode one. I did good. Stay with Bowen. I swore loyalty to the king, so I also did good.
Mm, but I freed Eric. Hmm. And I met Ramsey as the gate. I wonder if I did OJ would Ethan nah, that dude's a murderer. He was still would have killed him. Now everybody, this is the end of episode one. Meet us tomorrow for episode two. At the Game of Thrones. Remember, if this thing gets 20 likes or 10 comments, seeing that I should skip to the final season, to the final premiere. I will move on to the final episode tomorrow and do as such. Maybe the Lords be with you.